Morning, Ryoma. Ah, we're way past morning by this point. Huh? Really? Didn't the morning announcement just play, though? In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. That early? In the day, we do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived a, frightening discipline, a frighteningly disciplined life. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess? Healthy body, healthy mind? That's a bitter irony. Okay. That's right. Ryama was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? Probably just a little bit, but who cares? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, you heard his feelings. Now let's talk to Kibo. Good morning, Kaede. Morning, Kibo. Everyone appears to have gathered at the dining hall again. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yep, looks like it. Why aren't you there? I'm thinking about heading over there as well, but... But? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering when someone is going to come rescue us. It's been almost a full day since Monokuma was dispatched, but our situation hasn't changed. Maybe because nobody's coming to rescue you? I'm just speculating, but what if only Monokuma knew about this place? What if this location is not on any map? What if no one is coming to rescue us? Maybe we'll just be forgotten, and no one will ever find us again. Don't say that. Besides, we should be trying to escape, not waiting for someone to rescue us. Yes, I apologize. I was overthinking things. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. With this technology, he would rescue us. With his technology. No matter where on this earth this place is. Okay. What is he, Geno's? Um, who's over here? Angie, and then who's back here that we pass? Kokichi. Good morning, Kaede. Morning. Man, I slept great last night. You know, this place is alright when there's nothing to worry about. Oh, so, how far have you gone with Shuichi? Huh? What are you talking about? What were you imagining just now? I just wanted to know how far you've gone exploring this place together. That's all. That's none of your business, Kokichi. Huh? What's with the attitude? You're so mean. I thought you said we were friends, Kaede. But you were lying to me this whole time. Yeah, well, you're lying too. Oh, wow, Kaede. You really know how to stand your ground, don't you? But you're right, I was lying. After all, we're just strangers to one another. That's why I don't really care what you and Shuichi do. Besides, even friends don't share everything with each other. I'm more nervous around friends who share, who share too much with strangers. Oh, oh let me reread that. I'm more nervous around friends who share too much than strangers, really. Oh, okay, okay. And then he walks away. He's a strange little guy, isn't he? Alright, I think we can avoid talking to Angie. Or not. Fuck it. Good morning, Kaede. Morning. Hmm, I see, I see. Are you finally ready to make an offering? Huh? Right now? A whole pint? Or two? I still have anemia. That's a bummer. Major bummer. This is a problem, though. I need an offering from someone to thank Atua for smiting Monokuma. Make sure you eat a big breakfast, okay? Hope your anemia clears up soon. I... Okay. Is she serious about offering my blood? Does she seem like she's joking? Alright, Danny. Can I go in this way now? Oh, I can. Why couldn't I before? Oop. The gang's all here. Despite all my mor mourning? Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Yeah, because Monokuma's supposedly dead. 
Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. I think the game wants you to talk to people in the hallway for plot reasons. Okay, then I'll continue to do it. Surely he helps you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. This Atua seems to act in secret a lot. Because Atua smells danger. But when's someone coming to get us? Whoever does, I assure they will come today. There's no need to worry. Hmm. Why the long face? It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? What do you mean? Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. But is this really how it ends? Fucking course not. Without thinking, I had blurted that out loud, and now everyone's staring at me. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. I wonder. Do you wish the killing game would have continued? N no, not at all. Then don't ruin- <laughs> Then don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank. I like her better than Toko. I don't think there's a- Oh, oh, shit. Okay, what about now? Can you hear it? Let me know. Alright. I like uh, Mew better than Toko. Hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're so worried about, but Monokuma's dead now. There's no way the Kim the game can continue, you know? There's still the Monokubs. Uh. Oh. Here comes the voice. And that's my cue to appear, Kuma. What? What? Huh? What? <laughs> Monokuma. <laughs> He's still alive? Oh god. No, no. Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I'm not. I ain't Mona Kuma Kuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jiba Kuma Kuma. What is it? Jiba Kuma? Headmaster Kuma. From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Don't tell me he stays this way the entire rest of the game. Huh? Did I slip up? No duh, you fucking fraud. Go find another car to run you over, and this time stay dead. That's terrible. Oh jeez, it's such a low-level cosplay, I can't bear to- I can get it. Bear to look. From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken the ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are buzzkills! I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. This is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. That would be... Oh, Mona Cubs are back. So who the fuck was responsible for killing Monokuma? Aww. Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father who we thought was dead is actually alive? No way! Papakuma's too hip and modern to resort to the death is cheap trope. The yokai did it. Yeah. No, that bit's already over. What are you saying? It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. You should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. What? <laughs> Is he not made out of like stuffing and electronics? Wait, wait. If Mon if Papa Kuma is standing here, then whose body is in the soup pot? Oh God. Wh which Papa Kuma is the real one? What are you saying? No, they're both real. Hmm? Huh? But father, you said there's only one of each in a uh, one of each of us that were unique, like snowflakes. Oh, well, yeah. 
There's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't get to have spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? Huh? What does that mean? But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you Is he gonna start beating up his children? What the fuck? What? Slip, slip. That sound started to get really obnoxious. Oh my god. That's insane. Nice to you guys. I just get so ex Oh, okay. Excited that you can't take it anymore. This is so cute. Ha, huh, so we just want to see what your parents look like. What? It was me. Wait, I'm your parents. Uh... I... Sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. I really do not like her. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? C continue? The killing game is gonna continue? What a pain. Oh, That's not the problem, donkey face. What do you mean? The killing game is gonna continue? I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. No, it's definitely not. She sweats so much. Right. So that's how it's gonna be. If we want to end this, we have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it would be it to be built within the academy. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. So what were you doing? Like you knew it was gonna happen. So like, were you just waiting for it to happen? Is that so? Then did you also assume this n this next exciting development? Oh. Nope. Now then, I'm pleased to announce an additional motive. Loki, I don't remember what the first motive was. Do you? Can you remind me if you remember? An additional motive? A time limit is now. Oh shit. Hmm. I remember now. now. Uh, no, no trial for the first murder. So is that like is he? I feel like he's lying about that because that sounds kind of crazy. Then every student participating in this killing game will die. Mold to shreds by countless monokumas from the rumored monokuma making machine. So unless. You might want to take this game seriously. I didn't come to no, it's fine. I mean, just coming to one or two. What is this? Three now? That's more than enough. School has been crazy. Oh yeah. Did you um? How'd you do on your band test? Also, they finally acknowledged that the blood is pink because I remember in the last game they said it was red. Time limit. What? What? Everyone will die. What? That's not fair. I don't believe him. I think he's bluffing. Yeah, I got second chair. It used to be first. Your computer crashed. Damn. Uh, the first blood prick was a, was the first motive. Yeah, I remember that. Like, as soon as he said the first line. But um, what does second chair mean? Like, what's the is that just like second place, pretty much, or something? How stupid. He 
Please. Why do you guys even come to the school if you're not gonna do the killing game? Yeah, but uh, the reason I feel like second place in your section, basically. Okay. Okay. I think he's. I think he's bluffing. Cause he wouldn't just kill everybody. Then he'd have to restart and find new ultimates. So let's just call his bluff. But that's not gonna happen. There's too many people for all of us to collectively call his bluff. We're not that connected. Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here. Um. Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Wait, what? Let's do this! Damn right! Let's see if do their thing this time. But doesn't Monokuma always obey the other rules? Oh, you know what? That's true. He did say that one of the rules, one of the, Jesus, why did that camel look so weird? One of the rules specifically said that Monokuma will not directly commit murder. Will never directly commit a murder. But in the case of the Monokuma, class execution he'd be committing all of the murders in like infinite version i spontaneously got a waffle house waffle out of random craving this is the best goddamn waffle i've ever tasted that is incorrect waffle house is objectively mid no no but i'd rather not go through that again i'd feel bad if you guys tried yourselves out mid yes what yes waffle house is mid Waffle House is passable at best, and to argue otherwise is insane. Location to location, I guess, but the general consensus- I've been to a ton of Waffle Houses. My general consensus is that it, it's its alright, it's passable. It's like, hey, it's one in the morning, you got McDonald's, Taco Bell, or Waffle House. Yeah, but- But if we let the excises get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? Okay, but this waffle? All I'm saying is I doubt it. The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Ah, to be hmm? young again. Sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. Daddy! Fair enough. Daddy, you love us so much. I'm so... I've never felt more uncomfortable saying daddy in my life. That's enough. Oh? You're still here. Were we? Are we allowed to leave? That's another question. Why has nobody ever like walked away when Monokuma was saying something? That's not against the rules. Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye bye to the suffering. You bastard! To tell you the truth, don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? <laughs> You're surrounded by strangers. Neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well... Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. So, that does that... What does that mean? Does that mean that... A murder takes place, there's no trial, and we just continue on, there's just 15 people? Or does that mean a murder takes place, but my arms hurt so much from doing push-ups in Taekwondo? Fair enough. I actually, like, can't do push-ups. Like, not because, like, I'm not strong. I, like, I, like, I used to be able to do push-ups, but I can't anymore. But, um, oh, option two, I think, is, um, god, what was I saying? The, a murder happens, the body's discovered, and then the person who committed the murder gets to leave or something like that? With no trial? Because he said graduation, right? Is that, would that, is that, did that, does that come up in the rules? Let's see. Uh, no, it is not. And just like a few, like pushing down for five seconds, and so like proper push-ups, yeah. How gory. But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. 
And if they don't play, then they're dead anyway. And that's way more gore. He's just, he's just rhyming. I see. If it's gratuitous over the top gore, I might be able to stomach that. Forget the killing game then. It'd be better for you all just to die together. Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back! <laughs> well, what you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> I say we call her bluff. Man, father is in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monadam, go get some pure organic honey. I, I'm not. I'm not singing in the Monica voice. I don't think I so I can. Long, <laughs> After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um. I really hope she dies first. I don't like reading for her. What are we going to do? My time in two days will be here in an instant. Th there's got to be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. I don't like that. I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to die yet. Die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? Atua says so. <laughs> you don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Mm -hmm. Open arms? That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll... Do something about it. He's gonna send us out of space. Then. Did you have a course of action in mind? I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Kokuchi, figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. No can forgive. We gotta fight back then. Okay, you want her to die, but who you think is actually gonna die first? Um, I think I've I've said this in the past two streams, and I always forget who I say. But I think Ryoma dies first. My my okay, I'll pick two. Ryoma's number one, and Sumigi's number two for dying first. I'm also starting to feel like she's gonna die though. First killer, I think it's Angie or me. actually, I, that's what I said. I said I think Ryoma is the the first dead, and Sumigi is the first killer. But I think. First dead is between Ryoma and Sumigi. First kill is between Angie and Sumigi. Yeah. Um. I also love how in all three games I've had one abnormally buff character. First game it was Sakura, second game it was Nekomaru, this game it's uh, Gonta. Yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. Yeah, but not Monokuma. Did you not just hear that he has infinite clones? No. What kind of Aikido move even involves sneak attacks? Gonta wanna help everyone. Come, everyone. Going to use body. Keep everyone safe. Not cool. You're going to go against those machines barehanded. Get it? Barehanded? Guns is great. Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. But wait. We still have plenty of time to calculate other possible options. How terrifying. We have no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting, or die from the time limit. Why do both choices involve us? Because it's a killing game. I'll take Danganronpa as fat phobic. Why? Somebody fucking died, right? Why is Dangan... He Fumi was fat. He was like comedically fat. Then there was Terra Terra. Terra Terra was fat, but he wasn't comedically fat. Um... Byakuya was comedically fat. Imposter. Imposter was comedically fat. My bad. The ultimate imposter. Um, it is as much as most enemy, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's much more appealing to draw the oh what is this oh okay bonds it's much more appealing to draw the ideal human body 
especially when like actual real life physical requirements aren't a problem because i guess you could say like in real life most people are out of shape so there would be more depictions of out of shape people but in a in a world that's completely made up and drawn where anything is possible it has the conventions of it medium of its medium which isn't surprising yeah how N no way are we really gonna die i don't want to die yet i'm gonna survive i'm gonna make it no matter what oh oh i did i i don't think i said who the who i thought the traitor was also i really wish i had a better kokichi voice um have you all seen the anime black bullet because i'm thinking about watching it i have not I'm thinking Kirumi or Shuichi. Those are my two guesses for Trader right now. Yeah, yeah, those are my two guesses. But Loki, it could also be Kibo. Trader or Mastermind? Uh, Trader. I said, I, what, did I, what did I say? I said. Shuichi or Kirumi. Okay. N no matter what. That's wrong. Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. <laughs> then you'll accept the blame. Huh? Because. Will you expect? Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people yeah, who will be right. sad if I die. You know. Um. Well. <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for anyone else. So that means... Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. I will. Oh god. Oh. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and think- and just think things over. Alone. The fuck's going on? Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh? Mio? I... I... N not that I'd try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and re- That's not suspicious. Like me, I'd be sad. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? I'm worried. There is no need to worry, is there? No one is going to kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone's gonna kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! That's even worse! Hmm. hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? My first through. My first playthrough on this, what Kokichi just said, my friend thought he was gonna go jerk off. To the idea of like being able to kill people or the idea of everyone killing each other kokichi does give off like mastermind vibes but more pranksterish than actually orchestrating this to have everybody killed huh? how mysterious also it feels way too obvious if it were uh kokichi is this, isn't he the ultimate supreme leader of course, I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules. Therefore, we have no need to follow them. Don't say stupid shit like that! Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense! However, Some people lack common sense. Even if it is to survive? We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? Who's the least suspicious for the mastermind? Um, normally I would say Kaede, because she's the main character, but based off the last game, I can't say that. Um, probably Ryoma. Yeah, probably Ryoma. Um, Ryoma, it's between Ryoma and uh, Angie. I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. Is he leaving now too? Oh, he is. Okay. Uh, 
heal. But males in the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves. So I don't think he- why does she look- why is she doing the- Does she have- no. No. She has that for Himiko. Jeez. He's not wrong though. If they want to stay alive, standing around and grumbling's not going to change anything. Bro. As things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? You see- okay, we're, we're just all- That was suspicious as fuck. It's fair. Still like him though. Until he actually murders somebody. Actually, that won't stop me. I still like Mondo. And I still like, um, who else killed somebody? I guess Chiaki, technically. I still like, um, damn. Who committed, who else? Okay. So, trial one. I still like Peko. Opinion on Nagito, I like Nagito. I think he was a great character. One of my favorites in game two. Two favorite men in game two were Nagito and Fuyuhiko. Two favorite women were Chiaki and Peko. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. All right, already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? You don't know? Your half-assed speeches won't work on us. Wor won't work on us. Jesus Christ. Opinion on Jinko? Uh, I thought her reveal was stupid in the first game. I don't think I really streamed much of the first game. Maybe I did. But I don't really remember. But I. I, I really thought it was stupid. Your half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? I also thought, um... Mikan's sudden psychopathy was stupid. Up until the end of the game. And then it kind of made more sense. But at the time, it was really dumb. Then... So just come up with a plan for yourself. Survival of the fittest. My words are really slurring together. Am I drunk? Uh... Wait! Maki, wait! Well then. I'm just gonna pray to Atua. And then she just walks off. They got tired of the dialogue, so they just started making it. Yeah, can I just go and think by myself for a little while? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before- Whoa, hold on. Oh, that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Word? But- Wait, you guys. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. <laughs> everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? <laughs> Girl, right? Fine then. All of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Who was it of, though? Um, That's a great question. Are, we, are you saying, like, who here was it of? Or, like, what in general? Is my memory part of it, too? If it is, then... That's a shame. Can I even trust myself? Huh? Rantaro, what's... This is the first time we've heard Shu... Sexy Naruto? God, Sexy Jutsu Naruto. This is the first time we've heard Shuichi talk in a while. Rantaro, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate Hunt? What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Suspicious? Who, uh, Rantaro? Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? Oh, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Mm, actually. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. Yeah, he is. I think he's lying about not remembering. I'm sorry. So, I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. That doesn't... That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I do think he's lying. I think he had suspicions about, um... He did have suspicions about what was going on at the first part. So I think he's, um... His, his ultimate is probably, like, useful or something. Or it could aid in killing him, or getting away with a murder, so he's trying to keep it a secret. I think that's what's going on. He's lying more than Kokichi. That's true. But his, his, Ronsaro's lies are way more deceitful than Kokichi's. Without looking back, Ronsaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. I want anything go right. I just want to escape with everyone. Why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. 
It's Manokuma's fault. We'll wait till later. Okay. The one who's controlling him and planned this entire killing game. It's all their fault. Do I talk to people now? Don't say. Maybe. Fight Monokuma. That only choice we have. Going to work hard for everyone. Sneak attack. Exactly. I will harness the power of Neo Aikido for the sake of all girls. It's no use. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. There's no way for us to win in a fight. But. But. Gonta no can't do anything else. That is troubling. However, is it wise to charge into a battle without a strategy? That's right. That's true. I get where Gunta's coming from, but we should calm down and think this through. <sighs> okay. Alright, Kibo. Hmm. That ultimate hunt that Ratsuma mentioned, what do you suppose it is? Any theories, Kaede? No. I don't know. It's the first time I've heard of it. I... It sounds so... violent. It sounds like it involves us somehow. Well... No, disregard that. For now... Nobody has any clue what it could mean, so it is illogical to continue thinking about it. Our more pressing concern is the current predicament we find ourselves in. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um... Kimiko. Eh, it's time for my last resort. Um, Your last resort? It's magic. The magic powder. No. Stop, you shouldn't- Cocaine? Is she doing fucking coke? Stop, you shouldn't do that. What are you saying? If you put it on sweets, it's really tasty. It's sweet and salty. I know the secret recipe. I see. Oh, oh, I see. You meant that. Okay. I, I, I too thought she, but no, she's not on coke. She's definitely, she's way too, uh, uh, not reserved. I, I'm just gonna say slow. She's way too slow to be on cocaine. There's no way I can fight machines with my bare hands, so I came up with an idea. How about we take Monokuma or Monokub hostage by kidnap? No, bare napping them. Um. Kidnapping? Isn't, is that something a martial artist would suggest? Should suggest? I'll protect you. Although I walk the path of a martial artist, I would do anything to save my fellow females. Well, there's life, there's hope. But once you're dead, that's it. Master taught me that. Is that alright? But Monokuma has spares. He wouldn't be much of a hostage, right? Bro, feminist, she's a female white knight. And the Monokubs don't seem to have any loyalty to one another. They wouldn't make good hostages either. Hmm. It probably just squished both you and the hostage. Oh, I see. Then I'll think of another way. Besides, you should know that it's pointless to challenge them to a fight, right, Tenko? Why don't we think of a strategy together? Yes. Okay. To be honest, I'm not too great at thinking, but I'll twist my brain in a knot for your sake. She is simping so yeah, hard over right. every girl here. It's insane. She is fully down bad. I mean... Don't do anything stupid, alright guys? So... I'll do something about this. I just don't know what yet. But I'll definitely do something about it. We don't have a plan either, and I want to trust him, but he doesn't seem too reliable. That was quick. Alright, Hirumi, what you got? Hirumi and then Chuichi. Um, you plan to do free time with? Uh, probably Ronto and Kokishi. Hey, Kirumi, what do you think we should do? That is troubling. It seems we still must find a clue before we can begin cooperating with one another. But even if we manage to do that, we are still trapped here. Uh, Jeez, so all we can do is wait around for the killing game to start. I do not agree. No, I do not think that would start the killing game. People cannot kill others so easily, especially when they harbor no malice. Even when one's life is in danger, it is quite difficult to follow through on the act itself. Do, do they... Do you get enough free time in the game to uh, to max out every character? I don't think you do. Um. Hey, Shuichi, what should we do right now? We? I'm... No? Okay. We need to move. Huh? Huh? Move? Shuichi slowly approached me as if wary of surrounding, surroundings. Oh, he wants to go look at the, um, the, the library and said in a hushed voice. Well, that's... This morning. Okay. Okay, okay. This morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. Huh? 
You mean, in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. So when he said we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Shuichi. Can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. Of course, Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like What's this. What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Uh, We're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. Hmm. And that thing you want to check on... And, and that thing you want to check is a secret? Um, Sorry. All I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can't escape from this place. The stream tells us the same as yesterday, by the way. I know, I couldn't think of a better one. Um... What was the... Monokuma reveals... The first motives. Okay, I'll go with that. I also just couldn't really remember where I'd left off because I took a day break. You can count on it. I believe in you. I see. Well, that's how it is, and I believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. How about? I sh I'm like I swear you should be able to change the stream title. Let me Google that. Can Twitch mods change the title? Twitch mods can change the title of a stream. Let me see how. Open up the Twitch channel that you're a moderator in. Click on the sword icon that's on the bottom left of chat. Next, click on the pencil icon that will appear below the stream text, uh, below the stream next to its current, current title. A pop-up window will show up called Broadcast Options. Fill out the field for title with a new stream title. See if you can do that. Because I'm pretty sure you should be able to. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I work hard enough. Alright, let's leave. Would you like to leave? Of course. Alright, what? Okay, um, no, oh, we're just talking to hey. Shuichi now. Are we heading to the library? I suppose so. Yes, I'll tell you everything there. Alright, um, and that is in this direction over here on the map when I fast travel. From the basement, right? Yep. And this engine's right here. Is that all right? Kaede, we should go to the library. I'll tell you everything there. Am I tripping? Oh, that's the game room. I am. Okay. Library. The library. Hey. All right. I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. As Shuichi said that, he moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Rambo, 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 Rambo. Alright. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone! I'm... That's right. I checked it right after nighttime started yesterday and the dust was there. But this morning, it was gone. Um... So that means someone entered this door during nighttime? Could it be... That got me thinking. This may sound far-fetched, but... Perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? Well, yeah, we've been in almost every other room. And of all the rooms that we haven't been in, this would make the most sense for soaring the, the spare Monokumas. How so? If I remember correctly... Remember what the Monokub said? <laughs> this school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine, and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Hmm. Um, so, the, so there's a machine that can build spare Monokumas? That would explain why we saw Monokuma alive and well in the morning. 
At nighttime, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's what Monokuma just told us. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by... I'm gonna talk to my friends, I'll drop them later when it's darker. Gotcha. Let's see. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every t then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. I knew it. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? He went out of his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Um. Huh? But why? That's true. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is the one in her group. In the one in her group who's co oh, Jesus Christ, the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma. I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he's trying to protect someone. That would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Because... I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas... They are the mastermind of this killing game. Wait, so the traitor is the mastermind? So, the person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of okay. us? Of course, this is just what I've deduced, but it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about it- uh, talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to I... murder. That's why I can only tell you, Kaede. Well, like, I guess. Hold on. I guess if he just feels compelled to tell someone, Kaede is the person he can trust the most. But really, if you're that concerned, you wouldn't tell anybody. Even Kaede, even the person you trusted most, you wouldn't tell. The mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be Amogus. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Hey. So, what do you plan to do now, Shuichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, right? I'm. I'm thinking of taking the risk, just before time expires. I believe the Mastermind will come here just before time is up, and I can expose them. Huh? Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? That's... I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. Word? What my dad be? Mauled to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma-making machine. To produce a large number of Monokumas, the Mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well. Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the Mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But... I'm willing to take it. Oh shit, is Shuichi gonna be the first to die? Cause something's gotta go wrong. Or else the game's just over immediately. We find out who the, ma the quote unquote mastermind or and or traitor is. Or Shuichi dies. Nobody dies. And then the. Would, would the mastermind kill anybody? Because then we'd have to vote them out. Sub God, what's gonna happen? But I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. I see. Yeah. All right. I'll take that risk with you. I but. Uh, but, Kaede, this is just my deduction. It is possible that I'm wrong. Of course. Yeah, I know. But I've made up my mind. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, Shuichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you too. Gay. You know? I mean, I don't have a good idea of my own, so obviously I'll help you with yours. Mm hmm. Okay, then. Let's expose the mastermind together, Shuichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaide. You have a way of encouraging me. I never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Aww. 
Did Shuichi do his makeup today? Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. All right. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? I wish I didn't tell the whole chat I changed it. Why? Why not? I mean, you should be able to delete the message. Uh, okay. R right. That didn't sound like he wanted to. After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Shuichi and returned to my room. We've still got some time in the day. Let's do free time. Two days from now, at the stroke of night time. The stroke of night time? So what, 10 p.m.? That's when the time limit expires. Until then, I guess I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about them. At least the free time sound hasn't changed between the games. Well, at the academy, you have free time every now and then. During free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bond with them. You can also give them presents to strengthen their bonds further. You can buy presents at the school store with them at, or win them at the Mono Mono machine. If your bond gets strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice. But you don't have free time forever. Spending time with someone passes time. You can also end free time by going straight to bed. By yourself, that is. I mean, I wouldn't skip it. But if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too. Shaming me and spending time with people, huh, baby? Alright, um, where is Rashida? Um, he is not here. But Kokichi is. Anto is in the library? That's not weird. Make sure to oh yeah, thanks. I I thought about it during the dialogue and then completely forgot after the dialogue. All right, let's head to the school store. Oh, they're doing construction again. And then it was this way, right? Yep. Yeah, we should have a lot of points from destroying furniture. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I passed it. There we go. And why are there why did the what? Why did the giraffes bump into each other? Wait, so where do I I said I What was the other option? Make sure to use one coin at a time. Okay. Uh one. Why one at a time? All of them. Like a chance. What? Oh word. Japanese doll wig. Okay. What happens if they use more than one? Yo's in the shape of a face. Sewing kit. Oh, that that's that's for Simi Gaze and Astro Kid. Excuse me, lot just increase the chance of repeats, but anything is good, really. Okay. Another Astro Kid. Another Sewing Kid. Lucky chance. Ooh. What we got? What we got? Workout clothes. What would that be for? Wearable blanket? We got a Snuggie? I'll use 15 more. Or 16 more, I guess. Home planet? What does that even mean? Another sewing kit. Autumn colored scarf. Is there- there's no autumn mark. Pocket tissue. Oh, whoops. Almost put in one of them. Pillow of admiration. Drain it all so we can get the hidden event, maybe? What do you mean, drain it all? Ginger tea. Like, use all the points? Oh, long tea. Perfect laser gun. Everywhere parasol. Spend a bunch of coins, why not? And then a man's passion. Yeah, oh, what? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? But yeah, I agree. The only problem is I have a hundred and that's a lot to spend. Another gun of man's fashion. Pocket tissue. That's an event item, really? Flame Thunder. This is for Himiko, isn't it? Two stars of a name, right? Maple Fudge. Maple Fudge? Lucky chance, what we got? Don't give me dupe. Someone's student ID. Who did Monokuma steal this from? Tentacle Machine. What is happening? 
That's gotta be for Mew. Classic Moon Buggy model. That's gotta be for, uh, uh, uh. Alright, Mannequin, this has to be for Simigi too. God, what's his name? I forgot his name. I'm awful. I completely forgot his name. Spaceman. Spaceman. What's his name until I remember it? Handmade sweater. Okay, I'm gonna look up Spaceman's name. Alright. There he is. Kaido. Okay, there we go. Okay, we've, we've got a good amount of, of, of presents. But now we're inside the school, so we might as well go talk to Ronto. We don't even know what to give him. Because we don't know his ultimate yet. There he is. Oh, why are you in the corner? Why are you over here? What's going on there? I'm worried about Ka I'm worried about you, Kaede. You've been working so hard trying to help us. I think you've earned a little break. Should I spend time with Rantaro? That's a weird. Then let's take a break together. That's I'm a little concerned, but okay. I spent some time looking at the fountain with Rantaro. Really? That's it? Just looking at a fountain, I guess. Rantaro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Rantaro a present? Definitely. Alright, um... Oh, what does he dislike? God, I forgot what he dislikes, or what he likes. And I can't look at it, can I? What if I escape and then try to hit the menu from here? Oh shit, I skipped it. I skipped the present! Fuck. I still have some time before tonight. God, what should I do? I don't want to just sit around and do nothing. Elmas free time event? I'm so stupid. God, what was- I swear, if, it, if it's nothing related to anything that I was about to- that I was trying to do, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Likes extraterritorial- oh my god. It didn't even matter. It didn't even matter what he liked. And I just missed it. Alright, where's Kokichi at? Actually, first, let me check to see what Kokichi likes and dislikes. Likes carbonated drinks. I don't- do I have any of those? Did we get any of those? An oxid- okay. Uh, what about this? A vegetable oil, nope. Um, I guess I'll give him a tea. But yeah, let's- we should give him a tea. Okay. Uh, but where is he at? Is the first question. Um... Oh, there he is, okay. Whoops, what'd I do? Okay. Here. That was difficult and complicated. Not at all easy. And I'm not stupid for taking so long to do that. That is where we came out of. I have a vendetta against these deaths. Wait, is it? I think it is, right? It... The colors look slightly different. Alright, Kokichi, what you got? Hey! Hi Day. It's dangerous to wander around to wander around alone, you know. Watch out. Keep on standing right behind you with a knife. That was totally a lie. Did I spend time with Kokichi? Yeah. <gasps> Can it be? Were you thinking about killing me this whole time? <laughs> Someone help me! She's gonna kill me! That was a lie. I spent some time running after Kokichi, who seemed to like have, who seemed to have fun being chased. Just a bit of banter, he's great. Alright, we got Kokichi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kokichi a present? Definitely. We'll give him a tea. Even though it's not carbonated. How do I put this nicely? Well, it's not bad, but it's not good either. And by that, I mean it's bad. Okay. Ah. Do you have to give them specific items or is it just. Oh, ding dong, bing bong. 
Missed that one too. Maybe reload. I would have to reload so far back. Oh, what the fuck? This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. <laughs> As you can see, Mona Kid had a little has had a little too much honey. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. Shot down by a five foot two femboy. He's not a femboy. He's just a small man. Also, I think he's five one. He's five one, right? Yeah. Same height as Fuyuhiko. It's kind of funny. Now let's play darts. None of them can be the dartboard. And let's go bowling. Mona Dam can be the ball. Yeah, but by the way, which announcement will we be making? The nighttime announcement. What? It's already that late. We should go to bed soon. Oh, no soon. It's already nighttime. This rate, the time limit will expire before we know it. But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone's smiles just a little longer. I want to spend my time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So, I won't give up. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought about this. Actually, oh, we got new Monokuma stuff. It's no longer Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'll say it after, um... Here, I'm going to type it in chat. Let's see, uh... So I remember it after this. Oh, Monokuma has an Audi. That's crazy. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her tastes. It's gotta be a handmade present too, so it looks like he put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's in a strong man would love a handmade... Pro wrestling group. I was gonna say Barbell. Is that Celestia on his playing card? That's kind of cool. That's a cool detail. She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes, and you'll make money off the wrestlers too. If enough wrestlers get possi po possible, popular, then it might be a good idea to hold. Then it, Jesus Christ, I'm struggling. Then it might be good to host a big event. And after they, and after they're done beating up each other, they can fight each other. They can. Uh, uh, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Didn't notice that. I just like uh, leaned in for a second and I noticed the, I recognized the hair curls. Cause she was one of my favorite characters in game one. Just give it a shot and I'm positive you'll win her heart. All right, noted. I just need a pro wrestling group. Oh. Rise and shine or sign. He's gotta be hungover. Okay, prior memories. Um, it seems that we're not missing any memories, or as many memories as we have been in the past games. So like, all, all, we have all of our memories up until we get, or yeah, up until we get kidnapped and brought here. But we only know that to be true for Kaede and Shuichi. We only know that to be true for sure for Kaede. This is an announcement! It is now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Let's have a wonderful killing school semester today. Monokid just knocked the fuck out. Jeez, Monokid really drank too much honey. How long is he gonna be sleeping? Ah. Monokid, I'm still not talking. Oh, by the way, Father's time expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So long, What's crazy? The time limit ends tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time is running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. What, are we gonna like hide behind a stack of books or something? How else are we gonna watch? Ding dong. Oh, oh, Shuichi. Perfect timing. No, um, it's gonna be... Oh, who's it gonna be? The fact that she said Su Shuichi means that it's not. Um... Hmm... I feel like it's either going to be Gonza or Korikiyo for some reason. Uh. Shuichi, I wanted to ask you something. But as soon as I answered the door... Oh, Monoku. Okay. Alright. 
Why did he fucking, why did he ring the doorbell? Too bad, it's me. It hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all the same. What do you want? I figured I'd come to let you know that part of a re- that part- That some of the research labs are open. You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Uh huh. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Who? How do you have a research lab for sh for Ko for Kokichi? For do you just have like a bunch of children in Maki's room? Um, and I guess the rest of these you could do. But what do you, what do you have for Rantaro? Because you know his ultimate. Which also, I think, is another reason he's lying. Because if he truly didn't remember his ultimate, he would mention it to one of them, to Monokuma or one of the Monokubs, and they'd fix that up. Because that, that's what they did at the at the very start of the game. They were like, "Oh, they don't remember their ultimate." Or no, so they something. They didn't remember. Oh no, yeah, they didn't remember their ultimates. But Rontaro still suspected something, so I do think he's lying. Or else he would have, you know, asked the, the Mona Cups. Um. Okay. Kills, kills, kills. I'll go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? So, um, are you gonna invite me inside for tea or what? No, of course not. Uh, that's the end of the conversation, then. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Aww. Jeez, that was super annoying. Oh, Jeez. ding dong. God, how annoying. Is she gonna yell at Monokuma this time? Jeez, enough already, you're bothering me. Now it's actually Shuichi. Uh, I'm sorry. Should I come back later? Oh, Shuichi. Sorry, just ignore what I said. I wanted to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, um... That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watch in the library. Huh? Weren't we planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risked the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. So where are you watching from? We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So that's why... I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Do we fucking have access to cameras? If so, why have we not thought about this? Um, cameras? Okay. Oh, drones. Yeah, we have drones. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two. And have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. Wouldn't we have to ask Mew about that though? Like, are we capable of doing that on our own? If we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. And we don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we're less likely to get caught. I see. That's a really good idea. But do you know how to modify a camera? That's... Uh, well, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Mew. The ultimate, the the the, the, uh, the ultimate adventure could help us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. But, but she's pretty intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her about myself. Yeah, the last time you did, she kind of yeah, that's right. immediately accused you of staring at her tits. That's right. Which I guess you were, because you like admitted to it, admitted to it. Oh, in that case, we should ask her together. Uh, um, I saw Mia heading to the dining hall. I think she'll still be there. Is that all right? Uh, but we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it. The mastermind, the traitor. As in, you might be the mastermind. I doubt it, but. Yeah. Well, if that's what you think, oh, it's better to be safe than sorry. Door. Door. Crazy? Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats would be crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats would be crazy. Hey. Good morning. Yeah. Morning, Ratsuran. Oh. 
Good morning, Ronsaro. Uh, actually, may I ask you a question? What's wrong? Hmm? What's up? Being questioned by the ultimate detective, it's making me kind of nervous. Uh, um... No, well, it's not... It's nothing bad. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing. What's up, Shuichi? Hey! I'd have wanted to know what you meant by the ultimate hunt. That's right! Oh yeah, I wanted to know about that too. <laughs> I told you, it's nothing. Just forget about it. But... But... No. Look, like I told you before, I was just a little confused. Not being able to remember my own talent is stressing me out. Never mind. Really, I would appreciate it if you didn't ask me about it anymore. Sorry. I understand. Sorry if it seemed sorry if it seemed like I was interrogating you. Sorry. No, no. I'm sorry that I'm not much help. Well then, I'll see you later. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. Do you think Rontaro is really just confused? Could it be? I don't know, but he certainly doesn't want to talk about it. We shouldn't ask him any more questions. I see. Yeah, we should be focused on exposing the mastermind. Alright. He's definitely lying though. Huh? This door was blocked before. When did it become accessible? The last time we went here? Why don't we ask this that one morning? Alright, Mia. Mi was sitting down, looking like her usual haughty self. She looks like she's alone. I mean, she's standing up, but she's alone. Morning, Mew. Well, if it isn't flat-chested Kaede, what do you and your pathetic tits want? I just pretend I didn't hear that. Um, I have a small favor of ask. I have a small favor to ask of you, Mew. Right, Chuichi? Yeah. Actually, there's something that we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and, uh... Do you think you can make... Did you... Do you think you can make cameras that detect movement and, t and take pictures? I'm really struggling. As in, it would automatically take a picture of the motion sensor to detect something? Huh? The hell are you gonna use that for? Uh, um... Uh, to keep Monokuma under surveillance. We might learn important information. Yeah, exactly that. Please, Mew. We need your help to get everyone out of here. Ah, oh, uh, okay. I get it now. Bitch. My answer's no. Huh? What? You know. You club's got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. <laughs> Are you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? Oh, I'll forgive you just this once. I'll get now. Get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Slapper? Oh, no, we... Oh. Please, Mew! Yeah, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting either her to, like, leave or slap her. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So, please, I'm begging you. Kaede. Shuichi? Bro. I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mio. Please? What, what the hell? Quit bowing to me. No, I won't stop. Or else of what? I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Mio. I'll do it for however long it takes. Hell uses bowing as a threat. These psychos. Fine, I'll do it. Okay. What? Really? I grasp Mew's hand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I owe you. The Beck technique undefeated. Beg technique kind of weird, not gonna lie. Even after we escape, I will be forever and ever and ever. I'm not doing this for you guys. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so... I was already thinking about checking it out. So, can I have my hand back now? Because this is starting to creep me out. 
Oh, sorry. I was just so happy. What's the deal with her? But are your hands always this clammy? What does clammy mean? I hear that a lot, and I don't fully know what it means. Can't argue with results. True, true. Does that just mean, like, sweaty and hot? <laughs> is she... Is she overcompensating because she's actually really timid? Clammy is sweaty? Okay. What did I do? Anyway, bring me the security sensors and cameras before I change my mind. Same exact thing? Okay. I'll be waiting in my research lab in the garden. I usually think cold sweat too. Fair. Mew wobbled out of the dining hall as if she had been thrown off balance. Thank God. I'm glad we managed to convince her. Then... Let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensors right away. Alrighty, Aphrodite. Would you like to leave? Of course. Um, there's the warehouse. I forgot where it was for a second. I'm not gonna lie. Where were the cameras and sensors, though? I only remember seeing drones. This place is huge. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. That's. Yeah, I was gonna say, I would imagine Shuichi knows where they are. Like, have you ever held hands with someone and the hands made yours want to shrivel up and burn the contact off of them? Not that extreme, but I I know people who have clammy hands. Or sweaty hands, I should say. Ah, uh, don't worry. I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? After he said that, Shuichi walked to the back of the warehouse. What, do we just wait? I think I'd kill myself if I held hand someone's hand and mine were clammy. I would never. It's funny you say that. I mean, am I- what do I just wait? What triggers the- What triggers him coming back? Do I have to walk back there with him? I always thought clammy meant cold like the ocean. That's a fair assessment. I see helicopter. Remote controlled helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? Actually, I wouldn't hold someone's hand anyway. The most physical con contact I can muster is abuse. Wow, really now? I had no clue. What am I supposed to do? Do I leave? Okay, I guess we just wait here? You don't have to wait, so I leave? Guess I'll wait for Shuichi then. I, wh I can't leave, what do you mean you don't have to wait? I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna slap and stuff, there's nothing I can slap. This is the worst, I can't even slap the vines. Find him? Find him where? It doesn't let me go anywhere. I already looked at this high jump bar cool, I guess. It doesn't matter though, because we're getting out of this place. I can't go anywhere. I've already looked at all this stuff. I guess I'll wait for Shuichi then. What do you mean, wait? That's never been a mechanic. I just know where I can go. Oh, 
Oh, I can slap stuff. It's not much. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell me either. But I am able to slap this stuff. Not much else though. Monitor. It's a monitor for communicating with us, but there's nothing to display right now. Okay. How useful. Shuichi, does it really take that long? I guess I'll wait for Shuichi then. I mean, I've been waiting. Maybe let's check it. Track and field orders, I guess it's not way for school to have these, but we don't have it. We won't be attending classes here, but we can get out of this place. Okay, and then the shot for ball. There's a wooden box. Are these iron balls? They look like they're for shot put. I picked one up to see if it was as heavy as it looked, and it was. The athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hi, Dave. What are you doing? Okay, so I just have to look at everything, I guess? Oh, Shuichi? Done already? Okay. But I already looked at this stuff. That's why I was confused. Yeah, I've got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Disposable cameras? Will these work? Uh, um... That's all they had, but they work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Well, if you're fine with them. Well. Yeah, three cameras should be in three cameras should be okay. Also, here's the security sensor. When the sensor picks up movement, it triggers this receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in the start. Oh, do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets in a spare vest, so there's still a lot of room inside. Won't you crumple your yeah. music sheets though? Alright, let's go talk to Mew. As I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi, I suddenly stopped. What? Will these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the exiles to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before me before Miu changes their mind. Shuichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. <gasps> oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. Bug. Then... Uh, I don't know if it was a... Well, it might have been, but I don't know. Alright, let's go to Mew's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. She also said it was in the courtyard. Or she said it was in the garden. Oh, you mean the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs? Hmm. Up until now, our research labs have just been normal classrooms. Well, well that seems alright, doesn't it? Okay, he just dipped. Let's follow up him, I guess. Uh, is it this way? No, it's this way. I could also just teleport there. I'm gonna just teleport there. Courtyard. I can't. I don't know how I have a choice, but to walk. Angie, Himiko, and Tenko are always hanging out. It's gotta mean something. Um, it's not that, because that's where Angie was. Okay, it's over here. Actually, let's go talk to Kokichi. What you got, Kozichi? How exciting! I guess that building over there is Mew's lab. I saw Mew run over there earlier. She was all sweaty and had a total creeper smile. Oh. So does Mew just get like 
really flush or horny or just embarrassed whenever she gets any sort of affection from anyone. Knock knock. Right after I knocked, the door violently swung open. Or she just decided to work. You're fucking late. How dare you waste some how dare you waste precious seconds of my time? Oh, looks like she's back to normal. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you got. Uh, okay, it's just these, but... I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to you. What was that? Disposable cameras? Mm. Oh god, here we go. What? Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify uh? for you? Huh? Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it. Piece of cake. Then... Uh, here are the security sensors. Oh. So you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? You so much. I'm done. I was thinking, the camera could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's ear. What are you going to use that for? I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase. On top of the moving bookcase? Shouldn't you set it up, like, at the back? Like on the very opposite side so you can see who walks in. Because if you set it up on the bookcase, it makes a sound when a picture is taken. They're going to know. That way, we can watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Not actually on? Okay. Mm -hmm. He means focus on. Okay. Oh, I see. You hey, what are you two whisker- She was- what are you two whispering about? No. Nothing. Her eyes are octagons. Is that all right? I wrote down the details here. <laughs> two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And a third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. How soon do you need these? Uh, um... Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Her hair is light pink. It's weird. Shut up! Oh yeah. Of course I can. You could tie me up and drip hot wax with me and I'd still finish in time. I think that'd make you finish early, but okay. That bold declaration me slam the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? Anyway, I think this will do. I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Mew to finish. Um, Kaede, what's wrong? No. Yes, yeah, she did. She did what? Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Huh? What? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you'd be that reliable. <laughs> but look at me now. Relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's not... hurtful. We went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. All the viewers left? Yes, so. The time limit expires at nighttime tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Nope, free time. Alright. Uh, let's go get more presents. I think I'm gonna do Gonta and... Actually, the OG. The OG... I'll do Gunt and someone else. Let's see, who else is there? Who do I care about talking to? Gunt and Korakia. But first, I wonder if there's like a butterfly that I get. There he is. Porkyo or Ronsara? Um, should I go back to Ronsara? I did him the first time. I'll spend 20 this time. I didn't read that one. It looked like it was a color in group though. Oh, we got it again. Dreams come true spellbook. Okay, so this must be for Kimiko. We didn't get the beat on the vent, so it's fair. Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail, but I also don't know what to give him. Like, do you have to give him something specific? Sports Town. 
Sparkly sheet. Aluminum water bottle. Lucky chance, what do you got? Give me a not repeat. Fun book of animals. Oh, this might be for Gonza. But he's the entomologist, specifically. Fashionable glasses. That's specific, okay. Candy cigarette. I don't know what to give Ronto then. Yeah, they have to like it. If you get a lot of options, some are obvious. But we don't know his ultimate either. That, that'd be making it hard to get him a good gift. Or that would make it hard to give him a good gift. Hello? Was it not? Okay, there we go. Tattered music score. This is for Kayede. Marigold seeds? Who would this be for? Bunny apple. What is that even? What is a bunny apple? Scrap the necktie. Monkey's paw. What? Playing hard to get. Alright. Commemorative metal set. We're having a 45 45% chance of um repeats. I haven't gotten a repeat in a while. Steel glasses case. Uh 47. 46.98. Okay, there's another there's a repeat. Two more coins after this one. Steel glasses case, okay. Lucky chance. Give us a not repeat. Any second, we got a repeat. Someone's student idea. We got somebody else. Oh, lucky chance. Give us a not repeat. I got this repeat. Okay, give us a not repeat. I'm not sure. That. That's me. Alright. Oh, God. Gonsa 007, Sugar 009, Asher Cake, Greek Yogurt, Workout Clothes. That's a lot. Yeah, that is mad spoilers, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna not use it. I feel like I could give him something that he would like. Ronsoro was a problem. Oh. Okay, I'll save Korakio for another time. Let's find people. We'll do Gonsa first. I went to the wrong thing. Where might he be? There he is. Uh, can you send the one for Rontaro too? Where's he at? I, I should have teleported straight to him. Why oh, is he not out here? Is he over here? He is. Found him. Um, others not gathered for morning breakfast. They really not united? Should I spend time with Gonzo? Of course. Mm. Yes, please. When Gonzo alone can only think about what failure girl to his. It comes to the animal book. Um... Can you look up the requirements for Rontaro? Or the gifts for Rontaro? I spent some trying trying to I spent some time trying to cheer Gonta. I did they're there. Where? I only see I only see Gontas. Unless I'm missing something? I don't think I'm missing anything. Whoops. Don't say. Okay, I'm gonna read it all out. Sugar, Astro Cake, Greek Yogurt, Workout Clothes, Cheer Coat Uniform, Ladybug Brooch, Fun Book of Animals, Sketchbook, Potted Bunion Tree, Aluminum Water Bottle, Simazon Doll, Space Eggs, or Hover Flag, Helping Yachi, Home Planet, Marigold Seeds, and a set. I don't see a separate message. I only see one message. Definitely. Thanks for warning if you try and guess. That's fair. 
But for Ronsura, like I could have guessed the one for, for Gonta, but we don't know enough about Ronsura to infer anything. But I don't blame people who get FOMO for missing out on the story when they die. One book of animals give the selected item as a present. Thank you. What? For Gonta? Thank you, Kaede. Gonta not get gifts often. Gonta happy. Very, very happy. Um. Kaede, you like music? Of course. I am the ultimate pianist, after all. Hey. Um. Gonta like music too. Huh? Oh really? What kind of music do you like? Don't, uh... Bug songs. That Gonta's favorite. Uh... What? Don't you think Kaede probably like bug songs too? I'd rather not talk about bugs, but maybe I could talk about crickets hey. or something. In Gonta Forest, lots of big bugs. They real good singers. Big bugs scary looking, but make pretty songs. I don't really want to hear about bugs. I'm sorry, Gonta, but I'm gonna change the subject. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Um, don't you think music is great for changing the mood? Huh? Hmm? Oh yeah. Fun music make Gonta happy too. When no one, when no can sleep, Gonta take off clothes, pay, play music, then can sleep all night long. What? You sleep naked? Gonta learn to sleep naked in forest. No can't sleep good in clothes. Um, I don't think it's very gentlemanly to sleep naked. Huh? Really? Well, that's just how I imagine a gentleman. But not good. Gonta want everyone to see him as gentlemen. If Kaede say it not good, Gonta not do it anymore. Anything else you think ungentlemanly? Mm. Mm, anything else ungentlemanly? Please, tell Gonta what you think is most important to be true gentlemen. Um... What do you think, state of mind or tea? I'm thinking state of mind specifically. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You know? Your state of mind? Huh? State of mind? Yeah. When I imagine a gentleman, I see someone who's nice, earnest, and polite. To me, a gentleman is someone who sincerely has all those qualities, you know? Mm. Yes, Gonta thinks so too. But Gonta not know exactly what to do. Uh well, I suppose... But, but Gonta can be nice to people. Gonta can be serious. Gonta doing his best. Gonta doing all he can. Hey. Kaede, you okay to talk some more with Gonta? Gonta want, to th Gonta want you to tell him when he's not being gentleman right. Mm. Yeah, Gonta's adorable. Yeah, sure. Obtain friendship fragment. Gonta's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Level up. I spent some time with Gonta trying not to figure out what a gentleman is. But I felt like I was only bringing out more of his wild side. He still has a long way to go before he becomes a gentleman. I feel like he's almost there. That time won't start for a while, so I guess I'll see what everyone else is doing. Free time. Start. Alright, Ronsor, where you at? Um, there he is. He's back in the library. Why is he in the fucking library so much? Not suspicious, but also could just be coincidental. But then if he if he is the traitor, which this would imply, why would he say all those things before our memories were retaken away and re-restored? Like at the very beginning of the game, why would he say those things? Trying to hint towards stuff. The time limit is the time limit is nighttime tomorrow. I wonder what we should do. Should I spend time with Ratura? Yes. Hey. I'm not sure, but I think everyone's in in the place each free time. Okay. No point wasting time thinking about it. You wanna take a break with me? This guy loves breaks. Could be a complete lie. Lie or just not true? 
because I think lie implies that you told it on purpose. I spent some time walking in the courtyard with Rantaro. Rantaro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Rantaro a present? I don't know, man. Well, you do. Okay. Boba tea. Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail. Thank you very much. But this looks really valuable. Are you sure you want me to have it? I could do something special one day, too. I have some pretty rare things myself. Hey. Hi, Dane. Would you like to have some tea and chat for a bit? Ooh, chat over tea. Chat GBT. And here I am, sitting across from Rontaro, drinking tea with him. I wonder. What do you wonder? Hey, are you hitting on me? That's no. a bold question to ask. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to hit on you. I guess people assume I'm a sleazy guy because of the way I look, but I'm not. Actually, Besides, would you like to have some tea? What kind of old school pickup line is that? You think so? Hmm. But maybe it's so old school that it's looped around and become cool again. <laughs> yeah, maybe. How should I put this? Hold on. It is true that I wanted to spend some time with you. I'm surrounded by strong personalities. I like them, but it's a tad overwhelming at times. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the ultimate students here are pretty unique. Uh. Oh, but I think Shuichi's pretty normal. Damn. The man is wearing your clothes? I don't like that. I don't like that. No, he's not. I would never be caught. I wouldn't be caught dead in anything like this. Not once, ever. Now that's true, but he's a detective. Could he be hiding? Oh, could be hiding his per- his, meh. Could be hiding his real personality, you know? I understand, but- But he's reliable in tough situations. That's not so bad. Oh, wrong that's voice. Right. But he's reliable in tough situations. That's not so bad, is it? I swear you have a shirt just like that. I think you're wrong and stupid. True. The sort of situation where you might need a reliable detective would be. Would be? No. Nah, that's nothing. Monster cosplay? Never. I refuse to cosplay. By the way, by the way, he's the most unique, per the uni the most unique person in here in your eyes. Uh, probably Corkio. Um. Mm, that's right. Kyo. Oh, yeah. Talk about first impressions. It's okay. But you know, he isn't so hard to understand if you talk to him well. I plan on it. He's always calm, and he seems pretty sharp. I think he could end up being, being pretty reliable. Hmm. Actually, of course, I'm just guessing. I haven't actually talked to the guy yet. You know? You seem pretty composed, Rontaro. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Because... From how you... From how you observe everyone and make rational judgments about their personalities. You think so? Yeah, how do I put... Jesus Christ. Yeah, how do I put this? It's like he's already used to this kind of situation. But that's a weird way to put it. There's no way he could be used to any of this. What if? Wouldn't that be that's crazy? But who else... Who could he be? He couldn't be anybody from a prior game. He couldn't be... Toko, uh, Hiro, out. Who would you be the most? Who would you be? Um, probably Ronsero. Like, who do I think? Because I'm gonna incorporate another, like, parameter to this, to this question. For another parameter to this question. Who do I think would be... Like, who, who do I think can be killed off early? And I would be upset about it. The number one is probably Ronsero. Um, I would be upset if Gonzo was the first killer. Oh, upset to see as a killer in general? Rontaro, Kokichi, or uh, Gunter? Well, I guess I feel more relaxed around you. I almost feel normal. No, oh, no. Oh, but don't, don't, don't misunderstand. I mean normal in a good way. <laughs> okay, I get it. Ten friendship fragments. Wow. Rontaro is... So you'd mourn Rontaro? Yeah. That's the first death. Yeah. Rontaro's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. It's 
spend some time drinking tea with Runtura. You have the best design? Yeah. Actually, for best design, I would have to throw Korokio in there. Got that this avocado color scheme. Man, I hate avocados. I think best uh, character design ha is has to be between Rontaro and uh, Korokio. Oh god. I mean, just look at this. That's peak. And then Rontaro just, he just has style. That's all this is. He's just fashionable. Oh, but also, uh, Kokichi's, uh, design is great, too. Maki has the best color scheme. It's nice. I think it's more her choice of clothing than the color scheme, because the color scheme is pretty basic. It's just black and red. But the way she pieces it together with her outfit is, is definitely really nice. is all that remains of once powerful I just like black and red and white, yeah. yeah. Shadow's favorite colors are black and red. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm 95% sure that I'm right when I say that. Um. Okay, hold on. She's just pale so it ties together. Yeah. Right now, you're on the this might mean nothing at all. But Mew's eyes are the only ones that are that have ridges. That are like kind of octagonal. Everyone's else everyone else's are completely round with like no I mean her eyes are her what, what are they? Not her pupils, but her irises, I guess. This song is such a bop, right? Her, her, um, irises are even squiggly. Nobody else has that. Not a single other character. Everyone else, every other character's eyes are completely round in every sort of a fashion. Which, I don't know what that means, or if it even means anything. Maybe it's just because she's crazy or something, and they just wanted, wanted to include that into her character design more than her clothing. But me and my black and red roses hoodie, watching this with my red Apple Watch strap and my red PJ pants with my LEDs on the bed. No, no, definitely pink. What's definitely pink? Is all that what? Of a once powerful what did you just go through? What happened? It is now right 10 now, p.m. You're on the threshold. Well, one of you best. This might be a last nighttime ever. No way! Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night. Definitely not red. Not red, pink is my favorite. Really? When it changed. Oh, he's still hungover, that's crazy. I get it now. I totally get it. It's crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. See? Look at your face. The way your eyes are angled, the way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Uh, Mana Kid seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? Bedtimer sign. Mana Dam still not fucking sorry. Last night time ever. No, it won't be our last night time ever. It's our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. Maybe not tomorrow night, but you might be closer tomorrow night. We can say that. Because you still don't have a plan after you hopefully catch the killer. Or not the killer, but the, the mastermind slash traitor. Yeah, we promised we would all be friends once we got out. Yeah, we didn't all promise that. Like, a few people promised that. Here, kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. Oh, the Godfather reference? That's great. Fucking peak. I blame the parents. I properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude for someone who has who has done something for you. Jesus Christ, I can't wait. It will make that person feel happy, and they might do something special for you later. What if I'm the Godfather? That's an amazing image. I'd get that as a closer, right? 
god, Kuma. Oh no, father. In other words, he wasn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. So always say thank you to people, and make them do lots and lots of stuff for your benefit. Look at how they massacred my boy. Come on, brother, he's great. Alright, ding dong, ding dong. Rise and shine, Ursine! It is now 8 a.m. My heart's racing. Today's the day the time limit expires. My heart is pounding with excitement. The ad lib in the voice is funny. Is all that remains of a once gyrating. He is fully vibrating. Don't worry. Like this is what they thought they. This is what people thought they saw um, in Hans Niemann versus Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, that's right. Don't worry, even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing The thing. hell you saying? You're just assuming they're gonna go to hell? <laughs> this is in U16 other who to leave and come as the humans. The fact that they scooted away from him, right? You could also interpret that as Monodam um, recognizing that he's in a, in a volatile state and might abuse him again. Average chess player in 2023. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. I hope you're, you're saying that as the as like my my rhetorical statement. I've been playing chess since I was a baby. I came out the womb with a chess piece in my hand. Uh -oh. Hey, Monikid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey? So long, farewell. I came out of the womb and my hair was styled like a rook. Average anime player equals Mona Kid tonight? Right now? Okay, okay. Anime player? Mona Kid just humming. <laughs> the time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. That, you know that? You're right, that is weird. Average anime watcher, Mona Kid right now. I'm still confused. I might just be slow. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks, and she slaps herself a lot. I'm illiterate? Well, that too. And leaps out of bed. All right. First, I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're gonna catch that mastermind. He's dead, isn't he? He's fucking dead. Shuichi's dead. Shuichi is deceased, like I said. This is the first time we're going to his room. He's fucking dead. He's not gonna be there. Kaede just like me, for real. They didn't say which cheek she's. Imagine she's just slapping her ass cheek each time. Ding dong. He doesn't come to the door, and then we go try to find him, and then we find his dead. He's dead body. Huh? No response? I wonder if something's the matter. Ding dong. Ding dong. Um. Oh, he came out. Oh. Fuck. Akaide, good morning. Jeez, finally you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to the bathroom. <sighs> Are you ready then? We have to get the cameras from you, remember? Shuichi dead, like I said. Shuichi completely fine and chilling. Did I say like I said? No, I said he was dead. Like he's he's a corpse. Like he's a walking. Like okay. he's a zombie. Yeah, right. Like was that a false flag or does that actually mean something? Because I want to lean towards it means something, but I have no. That's a that's an unfounded yeah. thing. Hi, you guys. What? Why are we talking to you? Why do we care? Zombie can't die. Zombies absolutely can die. The zombies are already dead? No, they're undead. Hey, hey, have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Woohoo! Maybe you want to pray to Atua with me? Oh, jeez. Why are you talking like Gonta? What? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. <laughs> true, true. Shuichi is inevitable. But, but... You two get along so well. I was hoping it'd rub off on the others in the dining hall. Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Atua has spoken. In such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Huh? Fighting? Ah. Um, they're fighting in the dining hall. Atua is really bummed out about it. Shuichi is the only constant in life. Fighting in the dining hall? Shuichi. Can you go get this stuff from you? I have to see what's happening. Leave it to me. Okay. 
I'll go get the cameras. Shuichi is love. Shu you got that backwards. Shuichi is love. Shuichi is life. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, oh. got it. Angie, you said the dining hall, right? You mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. No, no, I got it right. No, you got it wrong. I mean, we can watch Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting though? Who's fighting who though, and why? 